What's going on FCI traders? Today's video we're going to be covering the quarter point theory. Now this is something that I picked up quite a while ago. I can't pinpoint exactly uh, which trader showed it to me, but it's been something I've used as confluence only going into any and every trading strategy that I've had throughout the years. So it's very simple and I picked it up, I'd say about two years ago. And to break it down very simply, very easy to understand, it's that at every quarter of 100 on the scale on the right side of your screen is a quarter point. So we're going to have 0, 25, 50, 0. So it's going to be three digits you got to remember. Sorry, four digits. 0, 25, 50, 75. I forgot about 75. I don't know why I forgot about 75. So 0, 25, 50 and 75 that's you can see here every one of those I've had marked up 0 25 50 75 0 those are the quarter points that we're gonna be focusing on today uh, it's not gonna be too long it's not gonna be something crazy you guys need to watch for a couple hours um, again it's very simple you can throw it on top of any strategy in my opinion and it works as areas of support and resistance these are key levels throughout the market overall so of course we're on the two hour chart here so I've been doing the bulk of my markups lately. But you can see along the two hour, especially on the one hour, the one hour charts where you're going to see it all, you can see that this is a very respected area throughout the entire chart. And I'm actually going to go and grab my arrow. And I'm going to grab, yeah, there. So going along the chart, you can see areas of support, areas of resistance, areas of consolidation. Every area on the key level quarter point theory, 0, 25, 50 75 is respected i'm just going to go along the chart here and point out key areas that i see that are heavily respected and as you can see i'm pretty much marking up the whole chart why because everywhere on the chart the quarter point theory is respected so the way i use this in confluence with my own trading strategies again i will mark up the charts just as normal now it's gonna be kind of a pain for me to uh you know go and hide all these lines and then mark up my chart and then you know, hide them again so what I'm gonna do is just ignore the lines I know it's gonna take a while for you guys to adapt this I'm gonna expect you guys to have this on the chart anyways so actually what I'm gonna do is delete it all and from there I'm gonna mark up my chart and identify a quarter point theory while I'm marking it up so let's uh, let's have this area right here so I'm gonna mark up the chart key area of support settings oh shit that's not what I want to do I want to go and change the color make that yellow I like having yellow and we're gonna have an uptrend for me right above, I'm gonna have the uptrend respect in there why and I'm actually gonna move this I didn't mean to move the whole thing I drag that back down like that that's how I want to have it because it's respected much nicer it respects the lines a little bit nicer. So that's going to be the uh, uptrend for me. Now, I know a lot of you guys would see this and go, you know, for the newer traders, oh, you know, that's a head and shoulders. Now, this does look like a head and shoulders, but the reason it's not head and shoulders to me, because if I go on to the actual chart on the four hour, you can see the uptrend. The uptrend is much more respected than the head and shoulders. Now, a head and shoulders, it matters where you see the head and shoulders. If you see the head and shoulders at a key reversal level, you know the head touches the level directly then that is a valid head and shoulders but to me this is just a beautiful uptrend and I'm gonna continue working with it also one more thing I want to mention you guys are gonna see this market gap this market gap has been filled already it's already been filled market doesn't need to come down and refill it already been filled the order has been plugged market corrected so continuing on from there yep we have a nice reversal point now I'm gonna see if we have a key level which we do where's that key level you might ask horizontal line drag it up to 75 boom right there that's a key level let me actually correct it for you take out that six. Oh shit there we go key level right there this reversal point here was taken off of a key level reversal point reversal point under Reversal point under once again. Huge consolidation area. If it's not a reversal, it's a consolidation zone. This is a heavy high and high traffic zone. This area right here, 
very heavy key level. Market always touches that zone. If we come over again, I'm pretty sure the market won't respect it. Unless we jump onto the four hour because, yep, look at that. Go over, respected. Pretty sure we're working well below that area now and we're not gonna see that key level. Oh, look at that, respected again. You know, I can just keep dragging it on and on and every time we approach that price point, we'll see it's respected. Pretty sure, yep, over here again. Key level, key level, nice area of support, continuous support until it's broken under, retested once or twice, actually this is a four hour chart, retested a couple times, immediate close on the wick, move back down below, wicked it once again. You can see this chart respects the key level quarter point theory so well. And that's why I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you're using the key level zone, it applies to all GBP pairs, it applies to the US 30, it applies to the gold spot and the silver spot. So what you guys need to do is understand that this doesn't apply, or sorry, it does apply to all charts. Let me correct myself, it applies to all charts, but not all charts will respect it as nicely. GBP pairs always respect it. Gold respects it. Um, US 30 respects it. USD, the major USD pairs, so I'm talking EUR USD, of course that's an EUR pair, but it does have USD in mind. USD JPY, USD CHF, and USD CAD, those respect it. But again, don't take this as the basis for your trades. This is something that you need to keep an eye out for when you're marking up your trades. It's an extra confluence on top of it. If it doesn't apply to your current trade, don't just waive the trade. The trade still may be valid if your strategy has been tested and proven time and time again. So again, keep in mind that you know, this is something you throw onto your already existing markups. It should never, ever be the basis for your trades. You shouldn't just see the market reversing off of a quarter point theory and then just go, oh, you know, it's a valid trade right there. No, no, no. You take your trade as you would any other trade and throw the quarter point theory on top. And if it happens to respect it, then so be it. Now, as well as that, don't look for a markup and then have a quarter point theory above and then look to wave the trade because the quarter point theory may look like, uh, you know, it looked like it may reverse off. So, for example, for the point of this markup, act like this is a quarter point theory, just for the markup. Do not take the trade, sorry, do not mark up the trade and have the market approach your quarter point and then you close the trade. Just because there is a quarter point there, whether it be a 50, a 25, a 75, a 0, don't just close the trade because, oh, the market's approaching quarter point theory. No, 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 no. That's not how we trade here. You trade despite the quarter point theory being inside your active trade. The quarter point only applies to entries. That's what I want you guys to understand. The quarter point must be used as confluence. It can't be used as the basis for your trade. It can't be used as the reason you close the trade. Trade normally, but have the quarter point apply to your entries. That's all I'm gonna say. And with that said, that's gonna wrap up the video. Again, these videos are not going to be crazy long for you guys. They're going to be quick tip videos, quick extra help videos. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, be sure to comment, and message me if you have any questions regarding the quarter point theory or any questions regarding your trading at all. It's Thomas from FCI. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I'll see you guys at Market Open. Take care.